All right, folks, this is Jeff with Jeff and Ben's Outdoors channel. And today, I'm gonna have a different partner. My grandson, Aiden's gonna go say hey, Aiden. Hey. Hey, Aiden. Listen, here's the boat. This little unit, this little fine unit that we've been fishing out of. It's a 14 foot aluminum John boat. And here's our Minn Kota trolling motor. Bought it years ago and been using it forever. It's 30 foot pounds of thrust. We got a battery. And that's all the power that we have to uh, move this unit. But we have so much fun on this little junky thing. And we're glad to have it, really, to be honest with you. But look what I did. I bought me a paddle. It extends out. Uh, me and Hattie the other day, we went too far and run our battery down. Didn't have a paddle to get us back, so we used a piece of wood. But just look at it. Will you just look at it? Is it not awesome? <laughs> Woo! So, we're going to go try them today, see what we can get into. Uh, <clears throat> it come a bad storm yesterday. Last night, matter of fact. Rained all night long pretty hard. And I'm sure the water's going to be muddy. And... Uh, probably being being turned over the lake will probably be turned over be nasty looking but you never know all right folks this right here looks like uh, something that's man-made here recent i believe somebody's piled those rocks up put the bushes brush pile on top of it for uh, to make a crappie hole or something like that. This is not uh, an Indian wall or Indian made. This is somebody did this uh, recently. But I'll show some video footage of the Indian walls when we get up there to them. Okay, folks. Here is part of the wall that I've been talking about. Of course, it runs along the bank down through there. But it also makes a sharp 45 right here where you see the rocks going down in the lake. And it goes across to that big uh, sycamore tree over there. And it actually runs from that sycamore tree down in the lake and comes all the way across and over here to this side of the bank so when we say we're going to fish the indian wall we come up here and we'll fish what we think is a straight line from that sycamore tree over to this wall up on the bank where the stump is and it usually holds a lot of fish in there but on up the hollow there, there's another wall, and it does the same thing, it crosses. So this is what we call the Indian wall. There's several of them everywhere you look uh, up the valley up here, but this is one that we're familiar with. All right, folks, we're coming up on the hatchery, and looks like they've got the hatchery open uh, the little pipe and breezeway that comes through the dam over into the lake and it's a uh, belching and burping and churning and I bet there's something in there I bet there's something in here we're going to try to throw a crankbait, rattle trap some kind of uh, blur with vibration just see what's in there you don't ever know I have come in here and it be doing this and be all kinds of uh, striper in here and walleye.
I hooked this little fish while trolling some point in time in our journey over here. Didn't even realize I had a fish on there and drug him for only the good Lord knows how long. All right, folks, this is what the hatchery looks like when they're letting the water out over into the lake. It's really powerful. Hard to control the boat. It's just a belching through there. You'd think there'd be something. No footage of this. That's the water coming through the hatchery down. When the lake's up and they turn that water loose like that, it churns underneath the lake and you get a lot of good fishing. So we may just cruise around to the Indian wall. There's something. I just snagged something. Or something bit one. I hope it's something bit. Not an old carp again. That's probably a cart because he's just sitting there. But get your net ready just in case. It ain't a cart. Fighting like it's hooked in the back. Watch the dog. He's like, oh, yeah, Daddy's got a fish. See what it is. Looks like it's fighting pretty good. Yeah, they fight good. Especially when they're hooked in the back. Can't control them. Carp. Is it in his tail? Doggone it. What is that, Henry? Another old carp. Bugle mouth. It's a bugle mouth, Bubba. It's a bugle mouth. Yeah. Don't let the hook get in him. It's an old bugle mouth. I got a fish. Yeah, I got something. Got something, Bubba. Can't tell what it is. Don't hang up on me. What have I got? It's a nice one, whatever it is. Get the net. Never mind. Oh, it's a dandy. Probably hung up on a carp. I hope it ain't. I hope it's a fish. Well, a carp is a fish, but I mean, a, yeah, it's a good one, whatever it is.
Where's the camera going? Yep. What have we got? A carp or a fish? Hope it's a striper. Ooh, he knows he's hooked now. He knows he's hooked now. That guy. What have I got a hold of? What have I got a hold of? Is this carp? Yep, it's carp. Doggone it. Henry, it's an old carp. It's an old carp. Oh, Henry's excited. Nagged him in the back. No wonder it's so hard to get. No wonder it's so hard to get out. Get him off her, Aiden. <laughs> Stick your hand in his lips. <laughs> what is that, Henry? Here I thought I had something good. Stick your hand in his lips. He's to You're going to break it off. Rabbit net is I don't want to tangle my lure up. <laughs> See if we can get that lure off of it. What is it? It's a carp. I need to get that. You got a carp too? <laughs> yeah, but this one's a carp. It's what? Well, if we can't catch nothing else, at least we can snag carps. Get in here, Henry. Get back. Henry, stop it. Come here, Henry. <laughs> what was that you was using? Just a regular old square bill. Watch out, Henry. Don't let that hook get any. Oh. We can't catch nothing else. We can catch carp, can't we? <laughs> right up, Henry. Henry, get over here. Henry, get over here. Sit down. Henry. But just look at it. Will you just look at it? Is it not awesome? <laughs>